to episode number three of the Average Did Lorry slash Goat Did Lorry slash Road Did Lorry. As I said in the previous episode, I am away on holiday by the time you're watching this. So, this is a pre recorded video, however, I'm not sure what you guys want for this series. Do we want the Average Did Lorry? Do we want the Go To Lorry? Or do we want the Road to Lorry? If you don't know what I'm talking about here, go to the previous episode, episode, num episode number two of the, of the, of the Road to Lorry slash Average Did Lorry slash Go To Lorry and see what I'm talking about. But lads, I want your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. As you see, up in front of your screen, we are listing the players from the previous ep episode, from the players that we got from the Pats. Now, obviously we won the previous episode, our first draft, one our first draft very very happy with that the loss you see up in front of your screen now I know people are very particular about losses you would have seen from episode number one that we made a very big noob, noob, noob mistake as you see I was actually serving up Perisic a good deal came up and I thought should I buy him should I not and you will see that uh, we do indeed list this Perisic up for uh, around 5k which is very very helpful towards the series but if you don't know oh as I said if I, I, I made a noob mistake because in the map, in the task manager, it said to me, play a game and you get 250 coins. So I thought, well, I'll play half the game and I'll quit out of it and then EA will count that as a game. To my dumbness, I quit out of it half time and I forgot that, you know, it doesn't count when you do that. In fact, it gives you a loss and you don't even complete the task manager, which is very, I don't know, annoying. And uh, I'm very OCD with my record. This year, I wanted something like a thousand wins and a hundred losses or 2000 wins and 200 losses, something like that. How am I gonna do it when this fucking shit happens? But anyway, lads, I'm sorry for swearing, by the way. Anyway, as you see, we are listing up players from the previous episode. Perez didn't go for much. As I, oh, I thought, you know, 81 pace, 82 shooting, not too bad. The stats are very, very good there, but... Uh Turns out he didn't go for much at all, so uh, a little bit disappointing. But as you see, up in front of your screen, lads, I thought this guy would go for much, but he didn't go for much, which is very disappointing. But as you see, we're listing for 500 coins. <coughs> and... Uh, Sort of the rest of the players that I did indeed get from this, ep from the last episode, I listed for cheap just so I could sell them. And then Kulu, I, uh, I decided to look up his price because it was a lot for 650 bid, but none for low bin. So I thought I'll search up his price and it turns out he goes for 3k or 2700 coins. Very, very helpful towards the series. As you see up in front of your screen, our to coin total is 14,000 coins and 14,800 coins. Very good for the start of this series. Obviously, we did make our money back from the draft. Uh, as you see, guys, this guy is worth around 2,700 coins, which is very, very good. And we have 11,700 FIFA points left. Now, you know, that is what I was talking about at the start. Do we have the average of glory? Do we have the go to glory? Or do we have the road to glory? Let me know, guys. I want to hear a lot of comments, a lot of opinions. I'm hoping you guys want to have the have the go to glory. Now, if you are, oh, I suppose I should explain it. If you are new watching this video now and you don't want know what I'm talking about, basically, this is a road to glory, but I've decided to add 12,000 FIFA points on. Now, there's three ideas. We can have a road to glory, which scraps the FIFA points, which I hope you guys don't want, but if we do, you know, we can do that. We can have an average to glory. Now, the reason why it's called an average to glory is because average FIFA players will eventually buy FIFA points for their squad. Obviously, you know, if you're not doing a road to glory, you will buy FIFA points to your squad, you know? And over time, it does gradually add up to around 10 to 12,000 FIFA points. You know, you might add 2,000 here, 3,000 here, whatever. So, it could be an average to glory where we uh, sort of spend 12,000 FIFA points on draft and then build a squad. Or we can have the go to glory where I play 12,000 FIFA points worth of drafts. I take the coins of that and buy one marquee player, which will be our GOAT. That GOAT will be called the GOAT to glory. So we'll use him in every single squad, every single reserves if he doesn't fit into the squad. And he will be our marquee player at the end of the year that we look back and think, wow, look at what we've done, what we've done with this guy. And uh, that is the ideas there. But lads, let me know what you think. But as you see, we do indeed select Hazard and Willie. Now, Hazard could be our marquee player. If we only get 300k from this draft or 12,000 fever points, we could get Hazard. He could be our marquee player. And what we can actually do is then, if he gets an info, we upgrade our normal Hazard to our Inform. So he will be our marquee player for the rest of the year. You know, if he gets a team of the season, which Hazard, good player, he's obviously probably going to get one. If he gets a team of the season, then we get that team of the season card and he will be our marquee player. But also, 
If we get the regular card, we can also play with him throughout the whole year and, and look back and see like what what what, it, what his goals are, what his, uh, his assists are, etc., and how many games he's played. But as you see, lads, we are going for a Premier League squad here. There wasn't many Premier League players turning up, but I did did decide to go with Rojo for this uh, for this selection. Now he reminds me of Smalling. I used him in this draft. You will see he did a very solid job. I was happy the way he went. Rojo, uh, he did remind me of Smalling. Very solid, got good pace, good defending, good physical, and I was very happy the way he did, where, the way he played. Check in goal, a very very good keeper. Now, um, I was actually very happy with the way he performed because in one of the games he made like some insane saves. And for how bad keepers are this year, Check made like four or five saves from a space of five minutes, which is just outrageous. You know, you haven't heard of anything like that in FIFA 18 because of how bad keepers are, but he did. And I was very happy the way he performed. And I saw, who did I see? It might've been um, Boris Legend, you know, the, uh, the the pro player who has a YouTube channel. He used check and he was a beast. And I'm telling you, he was a very big beast. This guy, this guy here, guy, Idrissa Garner Gay, right? I used him in this draft. I found out he's my favorite CDM. He's better than Kante, he's better than Pogba. I used Kante and Pogba in the in the demo. I've also used Kante and Pogba, I think in the, because in, this is a pre-recorded video, I, he might have turned up, they, they turned up in one of the drafts anyway. But Idrissi Gunnagay is my favorite CDM in the game from the Premier League. I used him, he was just beasting and feasting lads, making those tackles, getting forward, bombing forward, and when he lost the ball, he tracked back and made the tackles again. He was generally a very, very good CDM, so if you want a cheap CDM that does the job, get a Dreesa down a day. He was very, very good. Now, I will be picking him up for our RTG slash at Average to Glory slash Go to Glory, whatever you guys want. I will be picking him up because he is very, very good. He will be probably one of our first CDMs that we get because he's only 10K, very, very cheap for what you get, very good uh, value for coins, and I'll I was very happy with the way he performed. As you see, lads, we have a decent squad, a decent bench. Messi, Willian, Douglas Costa, Bellerin, which I did indeed swap out. REF for Bellerin in the end, and Gomez comes off for Milner. But as you see, lads, uh, I just decided that Bellerin was probably a little bit better than Aria. He has a lot more pace, and it was actually vital, because I remember um, I remember being counted one time, and Bellerin ran back and took the ball off Ronaldo, and I thought if that was Aria, who's only got around 80 or so pace, he wouldn't have caught him. So obviously that Bellerin choice was a very good choice in the end. But lads, as we move on into game number one, he has a PS4 kit. Now, I'm not sure how you get that PS4 kit. I got the early access, I got the Ronaldo edition, and I thought maybe you get that kit from getting the Ronaldo edition. You don't. So I don't know where you get that kit from. If you guys could let me know in the comment section down below where you actually get that kit from, that would be helpful. But as you see, lads, up in front of your screen, he has himself, he has himself Messi, Benzema, uh, Neymar. And if Neymar was at Barcelona, he would have linked with those two players, but he didn't, unfortunately, for him. So yeah, decent team. The 4-2-3-1 uh, the is at the third variation, I believe that is. But as you see, we started off well in this game. Lalana holding the play up into Dries Gunner Gay. A lovely one, two there with Lalana. Messi with a scoop turn and a lovely heel to heel flick. And as I said, lads, in my tutorial, that heel to heel flick is a very, very overpowered skill. I'm telling you, lads, if you want to know a very good skill that gives you a speed boost through the defense, like you've just seen there, the heel to heel flick is very good. As you see, well, you don't see it here, but you will have seen from that uh, goal, I did the scoop turn, and to get that speed boost into full pace, I did the heel-to-heel heel, heel -heel flick, and he bursted away from the defender to score the goal. So, if you want to know a good skill move, lads, use the heel-to-heel -heel flick. It's very uh, very easy, and if you want to know how to do it, go and check out that heel-to-heel -heel flick tutorial on my channel. But you see a lovely scoop turn from Messi. Messi doing work. Now, I think if I had the choice for, my, for our market play, if we were to decide to go with the Goat to Glory, is either Messi or Ronaldo. Now, uh, I'm thinking Messi. I've used Ronaldo. Ronaldo is very powerful, very good as a striker position. But Messi, man, he's a good player. Man, he's a good player. Messi come up with a hat-trick here. 3-0, three goals three for Messi. He's a very good player. He's dribbling. He's just outstanding. His shooting is fantastic. He's got decent physical. And to my surprise, he's won a lot of headers, which, you know, for a short man like that, that's very, very weak. Not a bad performance from Messi, but you see a lovely ball to Salah. The speed boost is OP this year. Salah bursting through with the uh, ball roll, and then Messi was inside. Messi gets his fourth goal, lads. 4-0, 45th minute. 
four goals from Lionel Messi, lads. A very, very good player. I think, as I said, if we are going to pick a marquee player, Messi will be our man. But you see, we intercept that with Rojo. Doing good work there, lads. As you see, you put the through ball, through ball to Salah. Salah goes down the line. Messi is in the middle. And I don't... And I decided to sweat it across to him. 5-0, lads. 5 goal for Messi. As I said, Messi is a freaking beast. So I think he will be one of our first purchases if we do get... An, if we decide to go with the road to glory. Uh, but I think he will be our purchase if we go for the road to glory. So let me know once again what you guys want for that uh, series. But as you see, a lovely cross down to Drissa Gunnagay. The big man that I was talking about at the start. He does work, lads. 6-0, 74th minute. An absolute flogging of our opponent in this episode. And I believe we had time for one more. And my opponent got one back. I'm not sure what that uh, what the final goal was, but as you see, a lovely ball from Hazard, a lovely cross, and uh, Drissa Gunnagay at the back post to tap it home. But, as you see, lads, it's nil, and we make it 7 nil. I thought he might have got one back here, but I was wrong. Anyway, Sane holding the play up for Matic. Matic come back, or goes through, and scores seventh goal in the 89th minute, lads. Not too bad at all, and I do indeed do the, uh, the, 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 the flick hand celebration. I love that celebration. It's just like, you know, if you score a good goal, you're like, whoo! That was good, but 7-0 lads, final score, 90th minute, and uh, unlucky to my opponent, unlucky to Mekonico, 3023. Better luck next time, my friend, and uh, yeah, hopefully you go well this year. Stell House up next. Uh, he has not a bad team, not sorry, not a bad jersey. He's got that, uh, um, what is that jersey? Um, Turkish League, Turkish League. Oh, I can't remember, but lads, I think, I think, am I wrong? I think this is the game that we lost. No. Did, did we lost? I was... It's either the next episode or this episode that I don't actually make it to the final. Uh, which is very disappointing. As you see, lads, we do start off well, though. Into Willian. Holding up the play there with um, with Matic into Garnagay. Doing work once again. Garnagay pushes forward into Willian. The scoop turn is real. A lovely goal. 3-0. Not 3-0. 1-0 in the third minute. I saw that 3 and I thought 3-0. No. 1-0 in the third minute. Gives him dab number one, lads. Not a bad start, in my opinion. Lovely goal. As you see, we do indeed sub on, sub on a few players at the start. And as you see, he gets a penalty, lads. Very, very disappointing. Shevchenko steps up. 1-1, lads. 26 minutes. And I do believe, as I said, this is indeed a game that we did indeed lose. Now, this episode... Did we lose it? It's frustrating not knowing what happens in this one because I can't remember. I played a lot of games in the last few uh, in, the, in the last day. So a uh, lovely hold up play there into uh, into Messi. He gets a second chance and Messi turning up once again to score me the second goal. As I said, Messi very very good player. I'm very happy the way he is. And he scores the second goal for us, lads. Thirty second minute. Not a bad uh, not a bad goal if I don't say so myself. Lovely hold up play from Salah. The dream passing to Messi. Now those cutbacks like last year are very overpowered again. So uh, very happy. With that, you know, it's a very easy... No, oh, I must win this game. It's a very easy way of scoring goals. Messi down the line. Lovely cut back inside. And uh, we were unlucky to uh, to not get the tap in. But Idris Gunnagay picking it up. Messi again. And uh, the keeper. Don't know what he's doing there. Should be saving that. It went for around... It went around half a metre to a metre to his right. And the keeper dives down. Cradling himself. You need to patch this here. You need to patch this. It's just ridiculous. Look at this. Messi scores. It's half a metre to his right. You know, keepers keepers catch that, right? Keepers catch that uh, when, they're, when they're playing. But as you see, lads, he does score his second goal, 41st minute. As I was saying, keepers catch that. You know, if it's half a metre to your right, if it's even a metre, keepers are good that they can actually catch that. I don't know why EA have done this, but it's just annoying. It could be, could be a mistake, uh, but... It is, what, it is what it is. Messi going through once again, pulling, uh, you know, another goal out of his ass. He's just so good, lads. Just so good. 4-2, 55th minute, lads. Not a bad performance from Messi once again as he gives him, uh, you know, I believe... Oh, I didn't even celebrate in this goal. Uh, I normally do celebrate, but... Um, I didn't, but as you see, lads, 4-2 uh, in, 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 the, in the late stages of FIFA. We, my opponent does bounce back, though, as you see. He goes through with the Iniesta. A lovely ball out to Neymar. Neymar does cut back inside, and he finds a pass into Shevchenko, who does indeed make it 4-3. Now, that's the thing. I read that pass into Shevchenko. My defenders aren't quick enough to react. They just It's so frustrating, because when you know... What they're going to do, you just can't do it. But as you see, lads, 5-3. Messi once again pulling up. He's just so good, lads. Messi again. Like, five goals in the first game. 
So it might have been like three goals in this game. He's just outstanding. I think that would be a marquee player if we can afford him. If we uh, if we don't go with the goat, the glory, because uh, Messi this year is definitely a goat, lads. Definitely a goat. But as you see, lads, we do indeed make it 5-3. No, no way am my opponent coming back here. I wasn't going to let him come back uh, when, when I have a, a bit of a lead. But as you see here, um, Messi does take the ball for the man of the match. Uh, four goals in this game. You know, four goals in this game. Five goals in the previous game. He's just so good. He's just so good. And if you, if you have 900 k, get him. Get him. You know, you could choose from Ronaldo or Messi. Now it's his personal preference. You know, I have used Ronaldo. He is good. I just don't think he's as good as Messi, to be honest with you. And that's a different thing because a lot of years previously, Messi hasn't been that good. But I think because the EA have added in this dribbling technique, Messi is good because of how good his dribbling is. He's got like 95 dribbling, which Ronaldo is only has. You know, he got like 92 or 90. So, you know. They've added in this dribbling technique, which makes Messi, uh, which makes Messi very good. But as you see, lads, up in front of your screen, hey, we have an opponent that comes up against Claret and Blue. He has Diego Hosta, <laughs> Diego Hosta, Diego Costa, De Bruyne, he has Gray, he has Dembele, Tor uh, Torre, uh, Wijnaldum, who is decent. I used Wijnaldum in one of the drafts, and uh, he, he's very good because of how, how how much pace he has. But he starts off well this year uh, in this game. Wijnaldum pushing forward, you know, with his pace. Ronaldo goes inside there, and what is the keeper doing? That's the one that I'm talking about. Uh, in the last episode, I was talking about it. That's the one I'm talking about. If you're a keeper, right, you set yourself and you drop your body down, it's standing. Now, if that was checked in real life, he would have caught that. That was, that was catching practice with him. In this goal, I forgot to show the actual real goal, but as you see the replay there, lads, Alana makes it 1-1. But Messi, uh, sorry, Ronaldo shoots that. It's not a good shot. Check in real life would catch that. He would catch that because of how good he is in real life. And also keepers are taught to dive down and, and, and drop their body as quick as they can so they can get down to the ball. I don't know why EA have done this. It's just so frustrating. But we make it 2-1, lads. It doesn't matter. And I believe that was the only goal that our opponent scored. I think we have a bit of a whitewash here as we give him dab number one. And uh, the 45th minute cheese, you could say that. But uh, it was a lovely goal in the first place. So uh, Lalana, I think he deserved it. As you see, we do cut inside. And he uh, finesses that past to Begovic. Now, Begovic, you know, he would dem generally dive down with his hands to grab that. He would catch that, pretty much. He uses his leg, his thigh, to try and save it. Keepers don't do that. They just don't. Uh, but Messi goes through second. Uh, uh, sorry, sits in. In a lovely driven pass into him. A bit, bit lucky if I don't say so myself. Uh, but Matic, 3-1, 64th minute. There's no way I'm letting my opponent come back. And I did give him the solid, so, sorry celebration because obviously it was a shitty goal. Uh, you know, it was a shitty goal. But 81st minute, lads, as you see, we do indeed score another goal. Messi into Matic. Matic holds it up into Hazard. Hazard back into Matic. A lovely one too. This is just a lovely goal. It's just a lovely goal. That was that started right back from the keeper too. I didn't actually show the whole clip, but that started right back from the keeper kick. And uh, it was just good position play, good passing. And uh, yeah, I'll give him the stir the pot because that was a good goal. You know, you, you can celebrate the way you like, I believe, if it was a good goal. But that was a good goal. 4 1, lads. Final score Tim likes rice. I'm sorry, he didn't like rice in this game. So uh, that was an even game, actually. He had quite a few shots, but he didn't put away his chances. So uh, this was a lovely goal. I did show the replay again. Uh, back into Hazard. Probably the best goal I've scored in this series so far. You know, episode number three, lads, so far. And uh, probably the best goal I've scored, if I don't say so myself. J Mac, 94 in the final. Now, I do believe I've either won this or I've either lost this. Now, I believe I lost this. I think I lost this, which is very disappointing. But as you see, lads, we come up against him. He had a very, very, I think, yeah. No, this was the game that I dominated him. Dom absolutely dominated this opponent, lads. You'll see. He wins. He wins. One nil win for him. You will see. I'm going to show you all the chances I got. There was one chance I hit the post as well. I didn't put that clip in. But this is a game where I dominated my opponent. You see, William into into Lallana. One two. Look at this save. I finesse it far post. He saves it. Another chance here. Salah going through. He goes through. I'm about to pass it back here to Hazard down below. What's he doing? What's that touch? Another driven pass into Messi. He shoots deflection. Nil nil, 18th minute. Should be 1 nil, 2 nil, 3 nil. Alana into Matic. Holds it up into Messi. Another chance. Wasted. Another chance. The keeper saved. Look at this. Hazard. Back into uh, <clears throat> back into Salah. Holds the play up. Hazard goes through. That goes in. 
that goes in. Smike will saves it. As you see, lads, another another chance for me. Messi holds it up into Salah, into Matic. Lovely play in here. Hazard back into Danny Rose. Plays the one two with Hazard back inside. It's, it's, it's frustrating watching this, to be honest with you. Messi gets the ball taken off him. It's only written, lads. It's only in the script, isn't it? It's only in the script that your opponent scores late in the game to win the game, 1-0. It's only in the script. As you see, another chance here. Messi holds the play up. Should be a penalty. Should be a penalty. We didn't get the penalty, lads. And obviously, I said, there was one chance that I hit the post. Very, very disappointing. Very disappointing. I'm very unhappy about that to be honest with you but uh four three sorry not three one nil um you know disappointing lads disappointing but you will see i don't actually show the rewards because they were shitty i got some shitty like 81 rated player i can't remember his name from the turkish league i didn't actually bother showing the pats lads because it was just i was just so angry so angry you know so many chances i didn't put away so many good saves that smoker pulled out of his ass and uh, we were able to lose that drop. But lads, that will be it for the episode today. Can we smash 20 likes on this episode? That will be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want for the RTG episodes. But that will be it, that will be it for me. I hope you enjoy your day. Have a good one, lads. And peace.